Hey, welcome to the video. Um, just a heads up, I'm not going to have my webcam during the actual playthrough this time because I keep having a whole bunch of trouble with the webcam suddenly freezing or cutting out. So um, you're basically just going to be seeing the video this time, which I'm sure plenty of you are going to be like, oh, good. I'll have to look at your ugly face, but um, just letting you know because it'll be a little different. So maybe if you like it, we'll just keep doing that. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to it. Uh, we're, we're doing Case of the Golden Idol. Um, this is the new DLC, the Lemurian Vampire. I say new. It's been out a little bit. I've just been gone for a little while. But here, here it is. And I'm ready. I went back and I played through the, uh, other ones just to kind of re- get- re-get. <laughs> Get myself back into to everything, so. It's too dangerous to approach the island in the storm, most radiant Raja. We must. I am out of time. I hear and obey. Okay, so that was the Raja. That's uh, Tissa Gemini. I yeah. Jayan G. I think or some. Someone else from the Gimini folks. Let's go. Okay. Golden Idol Mysteries, the Lemurian Vampire, the Enigmatic Expiration in a Harmonious Island Commune. Press anywhere to continue. All right, here we are. So, ship. Definitely wrecked. We got three survivors on an island. Uh, clutching something. Drinking out of a coconut. And then it looks like maybe some native folks here. Uh, let's start with... Uh, let's start with mustache here. Ah, yeah. This is Giant G. My prince, you are alive. It is thanks to karma that we have evaded death and been brought to the same beach. Okay, and this is a note that he has on this person from Raja. Shayan, I entrust you with guarding and ensuring the safety of the Lemurian priest's son, Zubiri Kara. The old priest shared with me secrets of the Fountain of Youth, but I suspect he may have disclosed more valuable information to his son, Raja. Not to be confused with the elephant from the St. Louis Zoo. Okay, so this is Tissa. My father is dead, Shayan. I am the last of the Gamini crime family. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds like a, a thing. The, the Gamini crime family. Is that not a thing? I feel like it is. Now you serve only me as my royal blade master. You must address me as Raja. Not the elephant, though. Okay, and this is Zubiri. I remember Zubiri. Please do not harm us. We barely uh, survived the storm. We are unarmed and come in peace. Okay, so he's been keeping a journal. It is day 55 of my imprisonment. We have been at sea for two weeks, and apparently Monkey Paw Island is within reach. Today, the Blade Master G uh, played some Pajak with me and shared his stories of conquest. There is something noble about this man. I love that he conquests. It is day 56 of my imprisonment. We were on course to arrive at the island tomorrow. However, a storm is brewing, so I expect we will be delayed a day or two. Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some sort of link to the Fountain of Youth and the, the Golden Idol. I remember that from the last one. Who are you? Why have you come to our peaceful island? Big wooden staff. Yeah, you got one, boy. Ha ha ha. Have you forgotten about the importance of sharing? These poor souls have barely survived their ordeal in the storm. We should welcome them to our village, feed them, and tend to their wounds. It looks to be about everything. Okay, uh, let's see. So we go up. Okay, we got like a 
a valley of an island here with roller coaster tycoon going on in the middle, it looks like. All right. What is this? This is new. Oh, what is this, by the way? I've never even looked at this. I don't know what that is for. Never looked. I've never done any of the hints, which I'm going to try to keep to that tradition. Um, so, oh, okay. So what were we on? So we were on red. I don't understand. Is this the passage of time or is it like a, a night and day cycle kind of thing? I'm not super clear about that because this, because this is obviously daylight. This looks like maybe it's supposed to be night, but then this also looks like it could be nighttime. So I'm kind of confused. I don't know, but this was next. So let's go here. There's two places we can go. Okay. So we got Zubiri again. What is that scrawled on the wall? Yesterday, that wall was clear. Eh. It is day 13 on the island. Okay, so it, so it has to have been a passage of time. It's not like a night and day cycle then. Crew Blue, oh boy, was very excited to tell me everything about the purple peas. It is fascinating that with very little tending, they provide so much nutrition to everyone in the Valley Commune. I enjoyed chatting with him because people are somewhat secretive here. It is day 14 on the island. It amazes me how harmonious and calm life is in the village. Every adult has to work, no matter their lifespan. But it is not arduous. Perhaps this is how life should always be. Who are these people? They are Lemurians, but I have not heard of their... I have not heard their dialect... Di <laughs> oh, God. I have not heard their dialect, anyone. Guys... <laughs> Forgive me, for I am unworthy. Locals are enigmatic about their history, but I overheard a child chanting. The exodus came first, then finding of a cursed. Last tragedy dispersed. It wasn't creepy at all. Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. That's not ominous whatsoever. Okay, they're slapping the vines. Oh, wait, those are the purple peas. Those are huge. Those are the biggest peas. And they're just slapping them. Slapping them peas. Once you have lived here long enough, you will understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I better not cross her. Kula story, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'm so ashamed. Okay, let's start with, uh, man, there's a lot going on here. Let's start with what looks like children. Oh, clue has been added to thinking panel. We haven't even looked at the thinking panel yet. Okay, so this still looks like we have a lot to figure out. We should stop playing. I have to practice our history titles or Auntie Lavu won't be happy with me. I wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. Okay, so each of these is a thing. Oh, brute. Ancestors. Discovers. Protection. Dweller. Emerges. Okay. What do you got? You don't need to know how to read, silly. Just look at the pictures. They all make sense. Auntie isn't scary compared to Sturda. Sterna told my mom off yesterday and my mom cried. My dad works at Nintendo. Uh, community. Sentinel. From. What? <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to be making a, a sentence with this, is my guess. Tower. Lemurian. Banishes. I don't know if I've been saying... Lemurian right at all or it's or if it's Lemurian 
I want to say Lemurian. Okay, he's got bees, but they're red. So what's the difference? Yes, I did as Vrilis asked and brought the repair materials to Vito's dwelling. But tell me, are those really rubies and sapphires and golden coins that the children are playing with? What the heck? These kids are loaded. Goodness. You mean, wait, is that the same woman as... Yeah! What? Why is there two of her? Or did you guys, did you run out of assets? I don't know. You mean those shiny bits and pieces? They are scattered around everywhere. Mata taught us that the children can play with these trinkets as long as they are big enough so the children cannot choke on them. Makes sense. Wait, I'm starting to pick up. There's a lot of names getting thrown out, so I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm going to have to name a lot of folks. Okay, uh, let's start with this guy. Be respectful, Tissa. In time, you will learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty cart around and do some real work? Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties and you will not get supper. Come on, Zarno. <laughs> All right. Great name. Even the senior villagers have to work for their food despite their age. But I haven't seen that old man do anything useful around here. Is he sick? This must be the old man they're talking about. Thank you for your kind words. Wait, you just called him sick. But it was a sh Oh. I think he's talking to her. Let's start with her then. Wait a sec. How? <laughs> you guys. Could you not come up with more than one design for a female character? Come on now. Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Momgo just to spite him. These names. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They should be trying to reduce your stress. Momgo. That sounds like a cool pog. Like a like a slam like a character on a good slammer. Yeah, I got that sick Momgo slammer. Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interests of our commune at heart. <laughs> Look at his teeth there. He's got some Gary Busey teeth going on. All right, let's head into the hut. Oh, boy. Oh, there's still so much. There's, but there's only like four clues for me to discover. How is there so much stuff? I don't know what I'm looking at here. A bowl with... Uh, letters. Um. Oh, the old man said something about a vote. So this must be the vote. So I'm wondering if these four voted and the old man voted. Because she was talking about something about... Uh, oops. How she wishes they shouldn't drag you into everything... There's a short vote. Okay, yeah. So the old guy was involved in whatever this vote is for. All right, let's start with this. Oh, good. More to be added to the thinking panel. Valley Commune Laws. Big decisions are voted on by the whole commune. Smaller decisions are decided or voted on by the council members. If the council vote is tied, whoever is available from the commune joins the vote. Council Responsibilities Guardian of Males Represents and cares for the males of the commune Guardian of Females Represents and cares for the females of the commune Guardian of Agriculture Is responsible for farm work and food allocation Guardian of Children Is responsible for health and education of all young So... 
This must be the council. So I, so each of them has to be one of these four. Year 324, 18 males, 25 females, 12 that Okay. I agree with Labu and vote against as well. We have enough disruption from the people who washed up on shore. We do not need more change. I have enough on my plate with all three newcomers being my responsibility. Okay, so whoever this guy is, he voted against, and he agreed with someone named Lavu. So he agreed with whoever this is. So he is one of these two. And let's see, the three newcomers were all men. So I'm guessing maybe he's the guardian of males. It's my guess. I am glad that Satul agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. We should focus on the stability of our commune and leave things that work well alone. Children in commune. Oh, okay, so she's got to be the, the guardian of the children or whatever. She She's glad Satul agreed with her. So, um, but there's multiple S's and I don't know if they're going, they're talking to each other by surname or if they're talking by first name. But if we, if we assume surname because these folks are like on a council together, they're familiar with each other, that would make her the LM. Because it was the only S, which would be Satol, agreed with her, so it would be there. So these two would then be, yeah, these, meaning the old man. Mm, no. No, I don't know. Stop complaining, Vrilis. I have more people to take care of than you, and I manage it just fine. Okay, she's talking to him. So he's Vrilis. So she's got to be probably one of these. These are both K's. So he's probably this. She's probably this. I forgot about this guy. I wasn't thinking. So the old man or him could be here. And he looks mad. So I'm guessing that's him. And I'm guessing old man's here. All right. If this is the result of the vote, I will stop my experiments with the yams. <laughs> I don't know why he got that accent, but I'm loving it. But I still believe I could get something tasty and new in a couple of generations, which would increase the variety in our food. Now, can we talk about the issue of the lazy newcomer? Okay, wait a minute. So... So he's the agriculture guy. So it seems they voted against him. So I'm guessing he actually would have been a yes. Mm, I don't think I'm, I don't know. I don't think I'm thinking of something right. I think I'm missing something. I don't know. By process of elimination, though, I think I've I've got some of it. I think she's got to be this one. He's got to be this one.
He's got to be here. She's got to be here. Old man's got to be this one. But I don't know which of these two is which over here. So. Okay, I think I've looked at everything here. So there's one more. Oh, here's all of our <laughs> identical women. All of the sisters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sep. Septuplets? Sextuplets? I think it's sextuplets. I don't know. Praise the almighty to. Oh, shit. Well. Nagata, Britain, God, Bulbazur. Ah, shoot. Uh, yeah, he did die. Okay. No, it's the same thing. Oh, it's the golden idol. But who is in there using it? Okay, so this is set to like... This is either increase or decrease. Um, from the first... The core game. And I think it's decrease. Um... Because if I remember right, like... The big thing, the big theme with the Golden Idol was being used to decrease, like, the life, the life force of someone. And then it gets, like, redistributed into someone else, which is what Albert Cloudsley kept doing. I mean, among others, but, I mean, that was, like, Cloudsley's big thing. So, um... Yeah... I'm thinking that's probably what just happened. Or... Yeah, I don't know. I think so, but we'll see. So, okay, so we did get all the clues. What do we need to do? Okay, let's start with this one. This looks the easiest. Um... There was a hint somewhere. Um, here. The Exodus, the finding of the accursed, last tragedy dispersed. The Exodus. So, I think that's talking about like this. So, I think this is already in the first spot because this is the Lemurians leaving wherever their original land was. And that makes sense if you look at, like, the water here. So they're arriving to this island, which I think is probably where we are now. So a brute banishes the Lemurian ancestors. I think that makes sense to me. Um, okay. Then finding of a curse. Last tragedy dispersed. Finding of a curse. That's gotta be whatever this creepy thing is. Um, okay. Something emerges. Well, emerges from tower. Would it be sentinel emerges from tower? Um, no, I think, I think this is actually in the right order. Cause like, look, you see them coming through here, then coming out here. Brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Dweller emerges from tower. I was thinking this was going to be all one full sentence, but it's not. They're broken up. So th these are all separate phrases. Brute banishes Lemurian ancestors. Then, end. Dweller emerges from tower. That's the end. And then... Uh, Sentinel... Oh! Okay. Sentinel discovers... It looks like he got, like, a helmet. 
It doesn't work any. Okay. Sentinel discovers community protection. Boom. Booyah. All right. Easy enough. Some of these we know already. We got Jayan G. We got Zubiri Kara. And we've got uh, Tissa. Um, where's Gamini? Tissa Gamini. Okay. Let's go into here. Okay, LM. So she's an LM, I think. So the only L would be Lavu. But there's multiple M's, so I'm not good on that yet. Um, she, I think, was talking to him and called him Vrilis. That was it. So Vrilis. Um, she said she was glad. Was it Sterno? Sterna that agreed? Satol. Okay. Um. Oh, there is no Satol on here. Okay, I think Satol's the old man. So Satol is the tie-breaking vote. So let's also put... Let's fill these in as we go, too. So I do think he's guarding the males... Lavu, I think, is the guardian of the children. Um, okay. So then we've got females in agriculture. And it's two Ks, a Z, KS and KZ. So that's going to be tough. So now I got to figure out. Some who said Zarno? Was it this person? In time, you will learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty car around? Do some real work. Zarno will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties. And you will not get supper. Zarno will not be happy if you shirk your duties. And you will not get supper. S that makes me think maybe... Maybe Zarno is the agriculture guy. But since it's KZ, that is, that would be his surname would be Zarno. Oh, you know what? Uh, Zubiri mentioned a name also. And I think it also was, had to do with the peas. So I think that's going to give us the agriculture guy's full name. Kruplu. Okay. I think that's going to give us his name. So, Kruplu Zarno. I think we're going to get this now. So, that takes care of the KZ, which means she has to be K... Kula... Um, Sterna. Okay, now this is the hard part. Mata and Momgo, because they're both M's. Um, let's check with the kids. Ati Levu, nope. Uh, this is compared to Sterna. Okay. Um. Ooh. Mata taught, taught us that the children can play with these trinkets as long as they're... Okay. So Mata... We're just talking about something to do with the kids, so it's got to be her. And by elimination, he must be Momgo. 
All right, all right, all right. So we can finish filling in this part. So Vrilis, Mom, go. Kula, Sterna. Kruplu, Zarno, and Levu, Mata, and Satol. Vito! Perfect. He, so he's the one that the uh, thing on the wall was talking about. Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vito. The incantation. This is the symbol that was on... Um, hang on. This is the same symbol on this, isn't it? Yeah, that's the same symbol. So this is the incantation. So is Vito the sentinel in this story? But the sentinel must be like a mantle. And I in it it's like the incantation failed or something. Blank blank went to the blank and spoke the blank. Well, we know that's going to be incantation. Going to the local tradition whenever the... Whenever the sentinel... No, whenever the dweller... Endangers the community. The sentinel... Goes and... Um... Do we use banishes here? Yeah, let's try it. Banishes the dweller to the tower. Yeah, because it runs back into the tower. Until next time. After the incantation was spoken. It looked, yeah, the golden idol was activated to... Yeah, this is kind of what I thought. To reduce lifespan so now we just gotta figure out who the sentinel was and I'm almost 100% certain it's Vito so let's put him in hey what's going on oh I left one blank went to the oh the tower uh here we go all right, there we go. Satol Vito was designated, oh, the designated sentinel for the Monkey Paw Island community. When the time came, in accordance with local tradition, he took up his armor and set forth to the tower. There he met his demise when the golden idol was used on him to reduce his lifespan. She's like, get him. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here. Okay, I'm mummy in a jar. Satol lived like a sentinel and died like a true sentinel. And now I must ask, who is ready to be sentinel? How about her? There's a billion of her. This is my chance. I must... As the only royal present, it is clear that I should take the title of Sentinel. <laughs> Zubiri is like, I'll do it. And he's like, I volunteer as tribute. All right. The Lemurian Vampire Strikes! Oh, sh <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's a skeleton, all right. That's, that's dead. This is impossible. The prince bolted the door from the inside after his last gift arrived, and Jayan and I stood guard the whole night in shifts. Stun spear. Wait, so is that Tissa? Oh, dang. Okay, so um, whoever's got the golden idol, like the dweller in the tower, 
I'm pretty sure got Tissa then. Yikes. Ew. This looks like something with like dead flies in it. Overturned pot of honey. That is nasty looking honey. There's like insects in it. Gross. Overturned jug of fruit juice. Uh, the rat is breathing and appears to be deeply asleep. That can't be a... Okay, that's got to mean something, right? A half-eaten fish. Like, these, these always have to mean something. The window is a simple opening in the wall. Okay. First, just minutes ago, we knocked on the door, and there was no response. Second, I, I put this all out in, in numerical order. We became worried. So Zubiri and I forced it open. Third, the room was empty, but for the sentinel skeleton. Finally, the new started arriving. The spear. Why does everyone have these cubes? Wait. Consisting of two parts. Okay. We have been punished by the tower dweller. This is its revenge. It has turned our new sentinel to bones and escaped by its power of flight. Oh, so it can fly. Wouldn't keep consisting of two. So it must have killed him and flew out the window. Oh, she's got just part of a wooden cube. As I ran here, I did not notice it fly away while you were forcing down the door. Could it still be here? Or is it long gone? Poor. Oh, wait. What kind of accent did I give him? Poor oh boy. It does indeed seem the dweller does not look kindly on those who wish to confront it. Now we need another sentinel. <laughs> Stone knife. Cube consisting of two parts. Have I missed something? I was doing my morning meditation when I heard the noise. She's got one cube consisting of two parts. But then she's also got a half of a cube. So does she take someone else's? Does this line up with hers? Let me see the shape. So it starts up at the left corner. Goes like this. I don't think those... No, those don't align. Jars of honey... Big clay jugs filled with liquid. Okay. A sack. A dirty old sack. Fried fish. So all these have food, except this one's just a dirty old sack. Large door that's been forced open. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, let's go out here. So there's a bunch of fish. Hey, sister, look what I caught. This snapper fish hid a uh, shiny in its mouth. I have a new play stone. Did you have a good sleep? I left before you woke up to get the best fishing spot. So you found a golden ring with, uh, set with a diamond, dead snapper fish. Stone knife. I don't like the looks of that. I don't look healthy. I am well, brother. I hope Tissa learned his lesson and both will leave me alone. Oh. She hopes Tissa learned his lesson. Well, that makes it sound like she doesn't know he's dead. Because he dead. So she's got part of a wooden cube. Now, who does that align with? So this one, the big slope, is on the right side. I don't think it's her. This one. So it lines with hers. So why do they... Why do they have that? Okay, so that's that. We looked at that. So what's over here? Burial urns. 
Are you not afraid looking at the dweller all the time? What if it looks right back and steals your flesh? Do you think these ancient sentinel bones will protect us? Oh, so... Oh, we did see someone moving like a... Um, like a mummy. So this must be where they keep all the dead sentinels from the past. Tower dweller cannot act from so far away. I have been staring at it all night and nothing has happened. We need only beware of the tower dweller moves. Then we should run to the village and warn the sentinel. Oh, so they don't know the sentinel's dead now. Why does this look all like honey? The Like there's honey in it. Like Winnie the Pooh has been screwing with it. There was honey in here. Oh, he here and... Is it this one? Yeah. Why is there honey here, it looks like? Well, it doesn't let me click on it, so maybe I'm just thinking out loud. There's a golden idol. And this one is set to increase, it looks like. So the other was decrease. Now it's set to increase. Interesting. Wait a minute. So if it's set to increase... It wouldn't have killed him. It would have given him... Unless somebody just took his lifespan and then also someone added it to their own. Before we're seeing this. Also, there's a ship back there. Huh. Okay, so we must be... Oh, we weren't on... Where were we? Okay, so we're... So as opposed to the last one where we started here... We started at the end of whatever's happening. So this is... Before... This must be like right before and this must be like way before. So right before the murder or death or whatever... Okay, there's some honey. Um, okay. Yes, first he asked us to bring him all the shiny play stones of children. That was weird. Now he's demanding fruit juice from me. He is a difficult sentinel to please. That traitor, Tissa. Me and Kula have been thick as thieves in all the last votes. Just this, and then one more basket of gifts to deliver, deliver to the Sentinel, and I am done. Nope, that little gnat enjoys what I give him. He? He he! This clues when added the thing. Gifts to deliver from each guardian. Juice, honey, fish, eggs. Juice and honey, okay. And those two are ticked off, so it looks like they've already been delivered. Hmm... So they've been asked to deliver him gifts. Someone did say something about his last gift previously. Local fish of the village late. Red snapper. Vicious flesh eater. Will tear apart anything apart in minutes. Tasty. Green snapper harmless but tastes like dung. Huh. Oh. Red gourd, very bitter, cure stomach ache. Spotted gourd, seeds are good for insomnia, or if someone needs to be sedated. I want to be sedated! Yellow short gourd. Flesh tastes bad, but seeds work well as sweet spices for drinks. Wait a minute. We've seen this. These are the, uh, this is what was in the, was it the honey? Or is it the other... I, this was what was in the honey. I thought this was bugs. I thought it was bugs. This is honey. That was the, there, that was the seeds. So which one is this? There is a red, yellow... The spotted. So the spotted is... For insomnia. Or sedation. Oh, there was a... There was a rat up there that was asleep. So... Okay, so there's Tissa. 
This life is worthy of a prince, and now I have some sweet honey to enjoy with the sweet juice, and tonight I will meet with you at last, my golden-haired beauty. Interesting. So he's wearing the crown. So it was Tissa's body. Golden ring. Oh! Wait. That was the ring that was found in the fish. Huh. Okay, and he also has part of a wooden cube. What is the significance of the cubes? I don't understand. The honey. Yeah, okay. And liquid. So, juice, honey. And you say, now I have sweet honey to enjoy with the juice. Let's look at this real quick. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that that's interesting. Oh, what happened? Okay. Okay, the door is closed. I'm so confused because, like... How does his ring get in here after? Did someone like kill him, jump out the window, end up in the lake, and they got eaten by the red snapper? And and all that survived was the ring they stole from him or something? It happened last night. I was walking with Kula when suddenly we saw someone run down the stairs from the platform that leads to the tower. They could not see who that was, but they were carrying a sack with something. We saw us. We saw the sack in one of those baskets. Like, we were making dirty sack jokes. She was wise to send you to report this. Find a partner, get two spears, and stand guard near the tower. If the dweller is somewhere, someone is in league with it, uh, what? Or someone in league with it can enter our village. We must be aware. Okay. So he's the guard that was with the other one guarding the urns. There's something strange going on here, but I am sure these extra guarding duties are an overreaction. Nevertheless, we will have to go along with it. Tomorrow we march to the tower and the dweller will scare your village no more. Oh, it sounds like they're going to try to fight the dweller, maybe? Good, then tell Mom Go to come to my hut for your eggs. The basket will wait for him there. Do note that I will do this once tonight and never again. Hmm. Sahilia, I am glad you have finally agreed to cooperate. I understand that you want to be concealed. Do not worry. I have done as you instructed. The in in family will not be tarnished. I think that's the one that goes with Tissa. Totally is. That's it. I just don't know the significance of it yet. Dare not try, Sentinel. I will peel your flesh until only bones are left. Okay, so we've almost got all of our clues here. You know, Tissa said something about a golden-haired goddess. Or beauty or something. I wonder if that's who he's talking about. Um. And he said, tell mom go to come for the... Okay. Hmm. 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 Let's see what this... What? Always follow your motto. Oh, that's what's on the side. Wait a minute. Is that like an Etch-A-Sketch thing? Th there's like an electronic thing here. There's like electronic stuff. Oh boy, am I going to have to decipher something? Oh, these are numbers. Designated by points. One. One, two. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And this would be uh, straight here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh. Interesting. This is weird. Okay, so here's this. Okay, so we're looking at... There's still like yellow... The yellow stuff from whatever's there. And they did... Okay, and this isn't... This is in front of that tower. And this guy said he saw someone come running out of the Dweller Tower. Okay, and it's still set to um, increase. Uh, so many questions. All right, let's go to... So this is the farthest away from Tissa's death. And that's set to decrease. Oh, okay. So... There is nothing here. Okay, so whatever happened, happened he here. So whatever they saw happened here. And these were sentinel bones. So did somebody steal sentinel bones? You playing with dead bodies, bro? But, like, why? Why? Oh, not this again. Ah, oh, so many. Mottos of the Guardians. Guardian of males. Protect the weak. Guardian of females. We listen. We plan. We organize. Guardian of agriculture. The diligent shall have full bellies. Guardian of children. Always preserve the ancient practice. That's a weird one. Um. Oh, something. We just saw something a second ago that said, always follow your motto. So that's got to come into play with one of these. Okay, that's the same. We, yes, enough, enough of this. D dang it. We must strike and bring down that monster at last. Let's go to war with it. I have a bad feeling about this. What if it puts everyone in the village in danger, including the children? My heart says we should preserve our ancient practice. It has never let us down. Oh, is this showing? Oh, we can't see it. Wait, I do remember she's red, the LM. I don't know who would be black. So it looks like he wants to go to war. He wants to kill the Sentinel. She does not want to kill the Sentinel. It's my guess. Okay. This is a terrible idea. Violence is never the answer. No wonder Vrilis is so keen on it. But we must forget this plan and return to our usual duties. Okay, so we've got all of the clues. Oh. You gave me your word. I have your promise, Cube Half. I've held my end of the bargain and voted against Mom Go in the last three meetings. I want her. Oh, this is from Tissa. Yeah. Too long we have lived in fear for our lives. I am your new sentinel, and I say that the next time I am summoned to deal with the Tower Dweller, I will not just banish it, but crush it once and for all. P.S. Yo, bring me that blonde chick. Please? I want her. I pro You promised. I have your promise cube. Okay, so they've got some sort of thing going where, like, he's been aligning with her vote... And then he's like, payments come due. Hook me up, girl. Hook me up. Are you sure we can pull this off, Tissa? 
If you are, let us try it. I am fluent in the secret language of Old Lemurian. The nature of the so-called dweller is clear to me. I will provide the noble Tissa with the right incantations to deal with it. It's day 26 on the island. The council does not take me seriously. I cannot just go to bring down that thing in the tower. I need the community's support before I make changes here. It is day 27 on the island. Success! Tissa was very receptive to the idea of us destroying the dweller, so it was Zubiri's idea. His motivation may not be as noble as mine, but I must seize any opportunity. Let us hope we manage to convince the council tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we've got all the hints. So what are we what are we trying to do? Oh yeah, he called it a uh, promise cube. Promise cube. So that makes me think Okay, weeks before the murder, blank blank became indebted to blank blank. Hours before the murder, blank blank became indebted to blank blank. So weeks before, we know that she is indebted to Tissa. And Tissa is demanding, um, what's that woman's name? It's in here somewhere. Sahilia as payment. And then if we go to here, oh no, it wasn't here. Where is it that we saw her with a... Oh, it was like right after the murder. We know that she has a cube, a promise cube with her, which makes me think that hours before the murder, blank blank became indebted to blank blank. So they've got something going, but I don't understand why. But who's indebted to who? We know that they've got a thing, but I don't know who owes who in this situation. Okay. We'll have to come back to that. Someone put blank in the blank that was brought to you. Okay, I think this one... So I'm going to put blank. I think this is um, referring to the honey. Sedative. Someone put sedative in the honey that was brought to Tissagamini. Yep. Oi, this is going to be tough. Um... No, there was... Uh, which one was it that we saw? Oh, wait. I don't think we've seen this. You do not know how horrible it is when all the women in the village hate you. Kula invents new lies about me every day and I cannot take it anymore. But I found someone who has agreed to help me out and solve this problem once and for all. Oh. Then do not do it, beautiful Sahelia. Follow your heart. And no one can make you do something that goes against your nature. Um, what night is this? So this is the uh, weeks before. But she doesn't have the she hasn't given up the cube but she does but it does say I found someone who's agreed to help me hmm 
that makes me think that someone agreed to help her. That means she would be the one indebted to... Okay, let's try Sahelia and becomes indebted to Lavumata. Okay, that's correct. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Night but immediately before the murder, someone managed to blank the blank of Amp Blank. So access, access the Blanks Lodge killed her the next morning. The villagers found the skeleton of the dead blank and became really blank of blank. Hmm. Let's start with this because there. So what I was trying to find was, is it this one? Because he had a list. That's what I was looking for. Juice, money. So we know the order. Um, and it was confirmed in Tissa's place. Juice. And then he got the honey that he said that will sweeten the juice. Where's honey? Oh, I already used it. That's why. Honey. Um, next would be fish. And then eggs. These might end up being flip-flopped. But, okay, we got to figure out who does what. Um, what's his name is fishing right now. So I think that's pretty obvious. Um, Sahilia was talking to Kula about the eggs, so I'm guessing her with the eggs. Um, I think this guy was Juice, right? Because I think he straight up said it. Um, yes, the Juice. Oh, okay. So this is interesting because then that means she is the one that delivered the, the honey. Oh, what did we get wrong? No, I did say that these two could be mixed up because I don't know what order they came in. So... Let's. Oh. All right. Maybe not. We were closer this way. Um. All right. So, what do we have wrong? <sighs> I'm very confused. Hmm. Wait. You know what? We we never saw eggs in in here, did we? There's the honey, the juice. That's that sack. Fish. The eggs never made it. That doesn't mean she didn't plan to, though. So, eggs never got here. What did get here was a bag. That dirty sack. And now that I'm thinking of it... Um... Who... Uh, running down the stairs. Carrying a sack. Okay, and we know 
that some something got put in here. Like it looks like honey got put in here. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hang on. Stay with me here. She wasn't she was doing the honey. Okay. And now honey has been swapped out for maybe bones? And somehow, the sack that I'm assuming were carrying the bones end up in here. So let's say eggs don't make it here, but bones do make it here. I don't understand exactly how yet, but bones make it here. Wait, so that would implicate her instead. No, because the honey part. Jesus Christ. Okay, somehow this gets here. She's still part of this. Somehow this gets here. So we're, so was that not Tissa? Did they fake Tissa's death? Is this the other bones? Or, 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 did they, did they push Tissa out the window? Okay, hear me out. I feel like a crazy person. They sedated Tissa, just like this little mousy mouse, threw him out the window, lands in the lake. Eaten by the snapper. Snappers. That's why his ring is in this guy. Because it is Tissa's ring. Skeleton put here. Why? I don't know. Why go to <laughs> why go to this much trouble and say just kill him? Why go to that much trouble? Oh, to make them think that it was the 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 tower dweller and get suspicion off of the person I guess okay yes okay so I'm gonna say villagers uh, of the dead so it wouldn't be Tissa Hang on, let's fill this out. The night, uh, someone managed to... Okay, let's see if we're right here. Steal the body. Is there a body? Um, there's bones. Let's try bones of an... What? The sentinel... Oh. Uh, oh, maybe Ancient Sentinel. Okay. Okay. This is actually... This is legit. Okay. They found out about the skeleton of the... They found the skeleton of the dead. So this is going to be used again. Ancient Sentinel became really... What do we, what do we have? What do we have? Afraid of... Say tower dweller. So they're thinking tower dweller did it, but it wasn't tower dweller. Blank blank wanted to oh. So access someone's lodge and killed. Well, we know that's gonna be it's gotta be Tissa Gamini, who had been Oopsie, I keep doing that. It's so confusing because there's so many buttons to hit. Who had been uh sed Sedated, maybe? Yes, sedated. With the sedative. <laughs> uh, let's try honey. Afterwards, the murderer. Blank, blank, a blank. Ugh, I don't know. Ooh, maybe left 
Não. Hum. If they went through the window, they would have been seen because he's been here. I left before you woke up, so he's been out here fishing all night. Well, no, then he would have seen this, so maybe he didn't. So there is a window which the killer could have come out through the window. Well, but if the killer came out through the window, there's nowhere for them to land but the lake, and we know that means death. So... And this was barred. So the only thing... They must have hidden the basket. The empty basket the eggs were supposed to be in. And the bones were in. It's big enough, I guess, that maybe someone could have been in there too. But here's the big thing is... Who was who in it? There's three people. Her, her, or her. But she says, I hope Tissa learned his lesson and will leave me alone now, which makes me think that she doesn't know he's dead. Um, the day before when the body was first stolen, he was with Kula, which is her, if I'm right. Uh, right? Yeah. Which makes me think she's not really a part of the plan. So it only leaves, um, what's her name? Uh, La Vumata. That could have been it. I feel like it has to do with this conversation. It's got to be the key. I'm glad you agreed to cooperate. Now, okay, so we know that she is supposed to be her payment to Tissa. I understand that you want to be concealed. Do not worry. Tell mom go to come to my hut for your eggs, the basket. Okay, so, okay, so this makes me think that, so eggs were on the list, but the plan was to not deliver the eggs, but instead to deliver her in secret. This was her payment to Tissa. But they were keeping it a secret from everyone to not shame her. So, if we replace this... Oh my god. Okay. But... But she didn't end up the one in the room. She wasn't the one in the room. Okay, I do think afterwards the murderer hid in... I think they hid in the basket. My brain hurts so bad right now. Oh, God. Um... This has to be Sentinel, right? Um, using a, I think this is basket again. Blank, blank wanted to blank the blank, blank. That part I'm not sure. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. She got someone to help her. We know it's Lavu. Okay, what if, what if the reason she's indebted is because Lavu is like, yo, I will hop into this basket for you. Instead of you going, I'm going, I'm going to end this thing. 
So Lavu was the one that ended up in the basket instead of her, and she didn't know. Because here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. I was doing my morning meditation when I heard the noise. Going to come out the window. Everyone else was already in the room, it seems. She would have come last. If she was waiting in here... Uh, so these two broke down the door. They come in. These three come in. She climbs out of the basket after they're already in here. So she's just the last one up. She just waited for everyone to come in. So, But she had been in here the whole time. The one thing that is bugging me is I don't understand the why. And I know it's... Uh, the why is... Ooh. I just... I didn't notice that the... Ship isn't there in the other ones, but it is there. I just don't understand the why yet. That's what's bugging me. Like, yeah, she agreed to help Sahilia, but why did she agree to help? It's here. Wanted to do something. Uh, there was a hint somewhere. There was a hint somewhere. Follow your motto. Um, I feel like that's got to be the last hint. That's got to be the hint. Where was it? Her motto, always preserve the ancient practice. Do we have the words to fit that? Do we, do we have those words? Preserve. Practice. We do. Uh, ancient is already in here. There it is. Oh my God. Okay. So she, and she opposed, she directly opposed them fighting the tower dweller. Yes, my heart says we should preserve our ancient practice. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's the why. We've got it. She wanted to preserve um, the ancient practice. Here it is, folks. Let's see if we got it. Yeah! Lavumata promised Sahilia that she would hire... Uh, hide in the basket to speak to the prince at night and convince him to leave Sahilia alone. Instead, Lavu killed the sedated prince and threw his body in the lake for fish to eat. Then she placed the stolen skeleton in his bed and hid in the basket again. Once the body was found and more incredulous vill villagers arrived on the scene, she climbed out and joined everyone. Holy crap! Oh my gosh, that's... That was insane. That was insane. That was, I think, the hardest one yet. Like, my brain feels like it's bleeding right now. But, hey, there's, it follows my thing. One, two, three. All right, let's look at this one. Your actions endangered our commune, Zabiri. I'm sorry, but we have to isolate you. Oh, because it was Zabiri's idea to confront the tower dweller, and they think it was the tower dweller that killed Tissa. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Let's Let's finish this. The less than amicable departure of two explorers. Let's go. I clicked anywhere to continue. Okay. We're in a cave. It's like a satchel, almost like a, like a quiver, like an arrow quiver, maybe. There's flowers. There's a vine. There's some vines. There's like a stone tablet. A damaged stone pillar. That's very... 
specific. Come on, it's above us. Oh! So we got like a whole... A whole scene. The bridge. A destroyed stone bridge. There's an arm for some reason? Because why not? Is that Cloudsley? It totally is! Oh, it's Oberon and Cloudsley. Interesting. Oberon, what in the blazes is going on here? You have more powers than mind reading? Wait, Oberon reads minds? I don't remember that. Pipe? This is tobacco. Okay, yeah, this is from the first game. Uh, both parties agree to the uh, these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Clownsley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one-third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. Dr. Oberon Geller and Esquire Albert Clownsley. So this contract set up provides... Um, Geller with the right to the golden idol. Like, he knew it was gonna be here. Essentially. And Cloudsley is, is his esquire. Yep. Ha! It works! It is amazing! Do not dare follow us unless you want to witness more of my deadly powers. Albert, we are leaving. Right, surgical kit. Uh, that's all the same thing. Okay, and this is set to... Uh, that's reduce something. There's some white flowers there. Um, we saw the yellow flowers below. She's got yellow flowers. She's got white flowers. What's going on here? Oh, that's, uh, Kula. Zubiri, he would have killed me if it were not for you. I will forever be in your debt. So Zubiri saved her. Who's this? Oh, that's Zubiri. I may have paid, paid dearly for that decision. What I have given him is the most dangerous device I know of. Okay, now Zubiri has part of, a uh, Promise Cube. How dare you lay your hands on one of us? If I find you, I will kill you and take back what you stole. Okay. Get back! They may still at oh, they may still attack us. Just let them leave. The most important thing is that nobody was hurt. We will deal with Labu later. So I was just like, let's look at our thing here. I hit the space bar, and I guess I had forgotten that space bar can trigger trigger the uh thinking panel. Oh my gosh, this is so much. Oh. Alright. Okay, so this must be Lavu. Yep. No, stop him! You have no idea what you have done. I would have dealt with them. We could have continued to preserve our way of life with me as your protector. Oh, okay, so the uh, one part of a wooden cube, is that Okay, so Zabiri made a deal with her. What is this? These look nothing like their counterparts, you know? These must have been drawn by completely different teams. Or people or something. Like, look, look at this compared to this. Not even close. Keller, you have no honor. We saved your life, and this is how you repay us? May these stolen riches be the ruin of you. Okay, is it? Okay, that goes back down. Okay, that was here? Whoa! Are you serious? It was a robot the whole time? It was... No way. It was a robot. It wasn't. The Tower Dweller was never real. Look at this. Okay, this is like the incantation. I think this literally was the incantation that we saw in the previous one. 
This one's in red for some reason. So these are the same things being alternated back and forth. This is red. That's different. And then there's a totally different one right here. Well, no, it shares a... It shares a word here. But this is a totally different word, so... I'm sure that's going to come up. And this is... This must be Zuberi's prison. And he got out with a rope, so I'm guessing Lavu gave him the rope. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta figure out what all this stuff means. Oh man. Okay, so we... I'm guessing we're here. Yes, so we need to go right before that happened. Let's take a look. Okay, still intact. There's a golden item, idol. And he, here it's at increase instead of decrease. Increase something and then something else. Okay. Oh, there's Levu and Zubiri. Just say these words in the correct order, loud and clear. They are special commands an old Lemurian that will grant you control of that entity so you can direct it to destroy itself. No longer will your village be hostage to this dark creature. It is day 37 on the island. Who could have killed Tissa? It cannot have been the automaton. It does not move. I hope someone lets me out of here soon. It is very dull in this cell, but at least Jayan visits me regularly. It is day 38 on the island. Jayan has told me that Oberon Geller has arrived on the island. How did he find out that this place is linked to the myth of the Fountain of Youth? That man has no morals. I fear what would happen were he to get his hands on the idol. Okay, so... Thank you, Zabiri. I have made note of these incantations. This old language is strange to me, but hopefully the council will agree to let you out of prison. Oh. Code to initialize override. Okay, that was what was in red. It should tilt its head. Commands to destroy it. Terry Tresno or Terry Nip. But we didn't see that, but it is destroyed. Interesting. Okay. So I'm guessing the promise cube. So they made a pact, I'm guessing, of he understands more commands. What if she's known the whole time? What if she's always known what this has been? Or he figured it out. He figured out what it was. And told her. And, and provided commands like he must have learned something. And then she was just like, okay, I'll use this information. I promise I'll share the information, and maybe get you out if I can. But then they said they will deal with her later. So I'm wondering, they either found out what that she killed Tissa or or she did something else. Hmm. Oh, here's that thing again. Okay, look at all this. I've discovered an intact universal transfer device in the destroyed city of Xenopolis after the cleansing. However, the device is out of reach. I can operate it remotely. The ancient automaton has retained acute hearing. Our ancestors have been very cunning and implemented a number of restrictions. The automaton aims the device only at the one who issues the vocal instructions. It does not respond to commands given by a target below the age of 15. 
So someone gives a command, and if they're in reach, it responds to their voice and aims at them. The golden idol. It aims the golden idol at them. So Nagana means take. Tagana means give. Promise stop. Terry destroy. Tresno is tool. Nip is self. Mora is heart. Gad. Lifespan. Brin. Manor. A pull. Mind. And then these are numbers. So B, one, bib, two, bull, three, bazur, 12. Okay. For bigger numbers, just multiply bazur. So multiply 12. For example, bib, bazur is 24. Yeah, two times 12 is 24. Hmm. So this is, makes me think. Only a new sentinel can keep me at bay. Because, like, before inside here was that message. Remember your motto or something like that? Or live by your motto? And it was Lavu's motto, which makes me think that... So we can obviously see, like, if this is a coded thing. So that... Maybe Lavu is the only one that can access this place. Like, this makes me think this is Lavu's stuff. So maybe Lavu has known the whole time. So it isn't, it's not Zubiri that found, that figured it out. It's Lavu. But Zubiri... I think Zubiri figured out Zubiri figured something out because he's just familiar with old Lemurian. And I think he might have figured out some commands that either she didn't know or or maybe she <sighs> Maybe she does know them. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because if, if Zabiri knows what it is, she knows what it is, she wouldn't want Zabiri to know that she already knew. So why promise, why give him the promise cube to help him out? Hmm. Okay. We'll figure it out. A rock for a hem is a rock well spent. To roo 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 roo. I don't know. Piece of rope. Wait a minute. He's got the rope. Oh, that might answer. That might answer my question. I think that answers my question. She. So she did do the promise cube thing with Zubiri, but she didn't let him out. Jayan's the one that got him out instead. So she was going to break the promise. She turned on him. So maybe she was going to keep Zubiri in prison. Because Zubiri figured out, Zubiri knows too much. So she was probably going to still keep it secret, but Jayan got him out. You are a powerful magician. Perhaps you can indeed stand against Tower Dweller. We desperately need help. It stripped the flesh from our last sentinel. We will show you the way. This is the way. Who is he talking to? Up here? Or them? I think up here. He's talking to Geller. See, this is your picture. Mind reading is just one of the many magical powers that I possess. Your so-called Tower Dweller will have no chance against me and my compatriot. Crayon, deck blank cards. Where with a picture of a flower? I mean, the flower... The flower picture is... 
This is a miracle. How could you know? Interesting. I feel like that flower is also what has been appearing like as a um, symbol for the incantations too. I don't know if that's related or not. Okay, there is a uh, Kula. At this point, I think it is worth trying. This man appears to possess strange powers. What do you think of these foreign visitors, Kula? Can we trust them? Okay, so we read that that exchange backwards. Uh, okay, we got some kids. I cannot understand what you are saying. Your voice sounds like your words are strange, and your words are strange. Oops! Speak like a normal person, you piece of garbage. The good and bad questions. Good. Can I help you? Bad. How does this work? It can be dangerous to be curious. Bad. How old are you? Each villager is born under a different star, which grants a lifespan that can be shorter or longer. It is rude to ask an adult how old they... Wait a minute. Holy crap. Did I... I think I figured it out, guys. Strange Brad, can I have it? I think I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. That weirdly is the clue that helped me figure out what's happening. Okay. I mean, it said black powder. Okay. Oh, he's got rope too. I don't think he would have helped Zubiri. Hang on. Let's just make sure. Let's see if he still has this rope on him. No? I doubt he would have helped Subiri, though. Okay, here's the thing. Um, Lavu is the the guardian of children. This is obviously something she would have given the kids. So why then keep the children from asking? anything about how old the adults are like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought anything about this without the context of knowing what you can do with the golden idol what we've seen like Cloudsley do with it and some of the others do with it which is steal life and then grant life back to whoever wields the idol so, my thought is, then, if, if, Lavu knows what the Golden Idol is, these are her notes, she knows what it is, she knows what it can do, then what would she be doing with it? She's got to be giving herself life. We saw it take life away from uh, the Sentinel before, like the, the old guy. And then we've also seen it in the other position, in the give position. So obviously somebody's been receiving stuff. I thought it was like reduce and increase, but it's taken give. So taking life, giving life. Nagana, Tagana. We've been seeing that back and forth on that thing, so. I think Lavu must be older than she looks. She must have been using the idol the whole time to keep herself young. That's, that's the whole, that's the key to it. Zabiri was starting to figure it out. She was going to keep him in there. But she made the deal with him. So he would give her the information he has. She could keep it to herself and break the promise. Leave him to rot in prison or have him killed later. Um, but Jayan busted him out anyway. So, and then somehow... Geller and Cloudsley get the idol and make a run for it. And I'm guessing that's what leads to the very beginning of the core game. So let's start filling everything out just to make sure we're correct. But I'm pretty sure we got it. 
So Nagana Bryn Gad take um, matter lifespan. Okay. Take uh, uh, where's matter? Okay. Matter lifespan. And this would be Tagana would be give. Which means this is also give. Tresno, if I remember right, was tool. Tool. Give tool. Now that's interesting. Okay. While in the tower, a blank blank, it's gotta be golden idol. Golden idol could only or could blank only the blank of the blank blank. Could let's say target only the um well it, it could target wh whoever was speaking. So the do we have voice? Um Yes. Voice of the um speaker uh, oh no command speaker whoever was speaking the commands no okay hmm take On the tower, the golden idol could target only the voice of the command speaker. Hmm. Oh, what if it's not, what if it's tower dweller? The, is this, nope. Target only the... I feel like that's gotta be right. Only the... Oh! Maybe only the speaker of the... Maybe voice command. I just had it backwards. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is where it's going to get kind of iffy here. Blink, blink something blank blank it could be used only with a okay so I think this is this must be golden idol this must be talking about uh, Levu a long time ago Lavu Mata Maybe discovered, found. I might have so much trouble with this part. Do we have discovered or found? Found. Found the golden idol. It could be used only with a voice command. And it could um, target. Well, this is going to be this. Only the speaker of the voice command. Therefore... Oh, I didn't even think of this part. I didn't even think of this, but that makes some sense. Lavu Mata created the myth of the Tower Dweller. Has to be, because I saw because myth was one of the things, and I was wondering how that would come into play. The myth of Tower Dweller. It has to be. So it's to scare people away so she could keep using it for herself. So for centuries, the... Uh, oh, yeah. Not to scare people away. I mean, that's part of it. But also to take their 
life force for her to uh, bring back. So that's why she was so opposed to it. Because like, if they don't keep this up, then eventually I'm going to run out of life force I can take. That'll suck. And also, they'll discover what's actually going on. So for centuries, the Sentinel... We gotta find... Do we have Sentinel? Maybe not. Uh, maybe... Visit villagers? The villagers would give the... Okay, it's gotta be... This. No. It was this one. This was the incantation. Take matter lifespan. That was the incantation. Uh, I guess command. And then, God, this part is. I I wish they would come up with a better system for this. Then Lavumata would. Uh, let's say steal their lifespan um for themselves nailed it okay after the arrival of the ship um After the arrival of the ship, the blank blank went to the tower and blank. Blank blank were rewarded with blank. Or prior to that, they had used the blank blank and blank. Oh my god. So this is the part that I'm a little unsure about because we've got three events. We only have two things here. But I I do remember them like seeing that they've got some riches and stuff. They talked about going to fight the Tower Dweller. He says, Geller, we saved your life. It's very... Oh, man. So that makes me think, um, hmm, let me look at the tower again. So I'm guessing that Cloudsley and Geller went to the tower. But I don't, I don't think the idol was there because that they got the idol from Zubiri based on like the context clues here because Zubiri says, um, I've given him as the most dangerous device I know of, which has to be the golden idol, right? So they didn't get it from the tower. So it was already gone from the tower, but okay. So th but I do think this is the foreign visitors went to the tower and let's say destroyed because killed isn't in past tense. So it's got to be destroyed. This has to be tower dweller. And we're rewarded with riches. We knew that part. However, prior to that, okay, this this is what I was wondering. Prior to that, Lavumata had used the. I wonder if that's this. Give tool. Blank blank, command could be, and had blank the blank blank. Um. Okay, yeah, so that was the last, the very last command was Tagana Tresno, which is give tool. 
So the last command she used was to have the Tower Dweller hand the Golden Idol over. Interesting. Uh, okay. And had um, maybe obtained the Golden Idol? It's so hard <laughs> trying to track down where I put all of the words. Blank, blank, release, blank, blank from the blank, and they follow the celebrating blank. Oh, I think this is Jion G and Zubiri. Um, because we know Lavu didn't. Zubiri Kara from the is there a jail or prison uh prison they followed the celebrating um visitors no it wouldn't well yeah it wouldn't be visitors because like I think Geller knew the idol was there somewhere I think he knew so he wouldn't be celebrating, but the villagers would be celebrating. So let's try villagers. There we are. Okay. So here is... Okay, so this is for sure the last scene that we're looking at. In the tunnel... Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. How am I supposed to... Huh. Okay, I'm sure this is Golden Idol. It's got to be Golden Idol. Um, the person in possession of the Golden Idol right now, or at this time, had to be Lavu. So what would she have done? Lavu used the Golden Idol on the... If you try to... Um... I think this is this. Okay. I I think I got it. Um I think it's the stone pillar was the first thing we saw. Yeah, stone pillar. Is a golden idol on the stone pillar to try to uh probably to yeah, kill the she's probably trying to kill them because I, I think they knew about the idol and they were trying to take it. Visitors. Um okay, so then we know Zubiri ends up with the idol. Yeah, so I think Zubiri. Kara disarmed Lavumata. And blank. Uh, yeah, and then Zubiri took the golden idol. No, and the, well, no, then Geller took it. No, I think that'll come here. Okay, and then Zubiri Kara took the golden idol. Yeah. Took the golden... This seems redundant. Like, it does get redundant sometimes, but... Okay. Suddenly, blank, blank took blank, blank as a blank. Oh, um... This. Um... Yeah. Um... Is hostage in here somewhere? Yes. Okay. So I think Geller took. I think Oberon Geller took Kula. Yeah. God, I keep I keep wanting to get to this, and I just keep hitting the wrong button. Took Kula Sterna as a hostage. Jesus. Oh, I was in the right spot. <laughs> As a hostage. 
So then... Okay, Zubiri... Uh, okay, we've got him right here. Zubiri, Kara, then... Surrendered the Golden Idol. Oh, crap. The Golden Idol. And... Something, something, blank, the blank, blank, and left. Um, it's got to be something with Geller again. Over on Geller, something, the something, something, and left. Um, oh, he broke the, uh, the bridge, the stone bridge. Okay. That's got to be it. Destroyed the where's stone? Where's stone? Oh, stone, duh. The stone. Okay, here we go, guys. Bridge and left. No. Oh no, where did we go wrong? Oh, we're so close. Okay, where did we go wrong? Mata used the golden idol on the stone pillar to try and kill the foreign visitors. Zubiri Kara disarmed Lavu Mata, and Zubiri Kara took the golden idol. Suddenly, Oberon Geller took Kulisterna as a hostage. So he definitely had it. She was definitely the hostage. He definitely had the idol and gave it to him. So what? Oh, Jian Ji is the one that that subdued her. That's why. That's why. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. No false alarms this time. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. When Lavu Manta discovered that Zubiri knew the override codes, she quickly went to the tower and, instead of giving the self-destruct command, instructed the ancient Lemurian automaton to give the golden idol to her. I don't know why I did it in that voice, but I sure did. Look at it throw it like, here you go. Look at that. What is holding up this little weird corner? We did it, guys! We did it! Oh, man. Zahiri, we want you to replace Mata in the council and share your knowledge with the village. He is becoming too powerful. Perhaps I should stop him before it is too late? But wait, he can read my mind. He already knows I have these thoughts. I have no choice. I have to act now. And thus the full game starts over again. The whole thing starts all over. We did it, folks. We did it. We did it. We. It starts over right from here. Crazy. Crazy. All right. And that's the final uh, DLC. Like, they're not doing any more. But the next uh, thing they got going is they're doing a sequel game, like a brand new game in the world of the Golden Idol that's going to be set in the 1970s, which I'm super excited for. I can't wait to do more in this world. I love this series so much. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I've, I haven't had like it, it's been the most fun I've ever had with a point and click and then the mysteries, the puzzle solving blows my mind makes my brain hurt on so many levels I'm gonna need to go um, have surgery to have some of my synapses put back together now so I'm gonna go hope you all had fun love you very much do the like share subscribe all that stuff and um, I'll see you on the next one